Arcade games used a range of different input devices, such as trackballs, light guns, spinners, and so on. If you're playing MAME on your computer, some of these games can be incredibly difficult to play um, as standard. They just don't work with joysticks and keyboard. So let me show you how to set up your mouse to take control of these games and enjoy them as they should be. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Arcade machines used a whole range of different input devices such as trackballs, light guns, dials and so on to give some really great gameplay in things like Missile Command, Operation Wolf and so on. But when you set up MAME at default and try and play these games, everything's mapped to the keyboard or the joystick and it makes these games almost impossible to play. So let me show you how to set up your mouse as an input device for these analog controls. So let me show you how to get the mouse controls set up. And we'll use a game called Missile Command. And in effect, this game, if you can see it over here, it basically uses a mouse cursor to control where on the screen you're gonna be firing your missiles at. So let's go jump across the game and see how it's set up as default. So this is with the default settings. And if I have a look at the control settings for that, if I go into um, use my tab key to bring up the inputs, and look at the inputs for this machine. Okay, so um, this machine has three fire buttons. Uh, and actually, I've, I've actually set those up to Z, X, and C um, already. But the important things we need to look at here then are we have our track X and track Y. So these are connected to the what would have been the analog trackball um, on, the, on the machine um, control surface. So at the moment, they are actually set up to use the mouse. But if I come out of here and actually try and play the game, so I put some money in and play the game. If I move my mouse around, nothing actually happens. It actually is connected up to the keyboard. So if I do that, and then of course I can I can play the game. But of course that makes it a very hard game to play. And we need of course to get this mouse set up. Now the way that um, MAME works then is that we have different input controls and those then are mapped to devices on our computer. So at the moment, um, the game itself uses a trackball input device, but if this of course at the moment is um, mapped to our keyboard, and of course I then have to use my cursor keys to move around. So we need to change that, which will then allow the mouse to take control of that trackball. Now we need to do that um, inside MAME itself. So I've launched this um, from LaunchBox, which is my preferred retro gaming front end. So you do have really two choices here. We can either, um, if we are in Windows, we can actually pull up our file explorer, which is over here. And if you navigate into your LaunchBox folder and emulators, you'll then find the MAME installation folder. Um, or if you've installed MAME separately, of course, you'll, you'll know where that is. And inside there, you'll find the MAME.exe file. And if you run that, that will take you into MAME itself, which gives you access to the full controls and settings. If, like me, you're running from LaunchBox, maybe the easy way of doing it is to jump into a game. If I press the Tab key again, I can come down here and I can select New Machine, and that will, in effect, take me into the main menu system itself. So you can see that we have a list of games here, and... Uh, oh, he says, moving the key too fast. Uh, so we have here Missile Command. Uh, if you want to find, if you don't see the game listed immediately, you can come up then to the search box here and type it in. But once we've got the game that we want to set the mouse up for um, in view, if I right click on that, we can then go to device mapping. And as I said, this is where we now need to set up which device on our computer is mapped to which device on the actual arcade machine. So we can see here that there's a number of different um, items that you can map. So we of course want to map a trackball because that's what Missile Command used. So at the moment you can see that that is mapped to our keyboard. So if we now um, select that 
and if I come use my arrow keys to come across I can select my mouse so this is the mouse on my computer is now going to drive the trackball device on my main so if I come back now to the previous menu what I now need to do is I now need to save a machine configuration file and really what happens here is for every game that MAME has logged into it, it is possible to create a special configuration file which tells that particular game all about device mappings and keyboard mappings and so on. So if we don't save the machine configuration file, then what we've done here will not um, take effect when we go back into the machine itself. So let's save the configuration file for that. And that should now mean that our mouse is enabled um, in our game. So let's come out of here uh, and, and let's then um, come out of main. So I'm just pressing the escape key to come out of here and let's go back into our launch box. So in effect I've exited out of the game and that configuration file now should have been saved. So the next time that I start my game up, main will automatically load that configuration file and this should then give us our mouse control. So let me just put some money in and start up again. So now you can see I have mouse control for my game and I, it now makes it a, obviously a much easier game to play. If you can actually hit the, hit the missiles. So that is our mouse control setup for this particular game. If I go back into my control settings all we need to do now is we, we need to then fine tune our mouse control. So sometimes when you set up the mouse, the, the movement of the mouse is either too fast or too slow or too jerky. So if we want to adjust that, we can come into our analog control settings. And here you can see there are a number of uh, settings which control how the mouse um, in, in effect feels as you move it. So we can see here that we have our digital speeds and digital sensitivity. Um, we also then have the ability to reverse certain axes. So you can see here on the on the trackball um, the Y axis has been reversed so that um, it, it just um, matches up then with the game itself. Um, it's hard for me to say what settings to use here. It very much is a matter of playing around. So digital speed and digital sensitivity, you can use those two to control both the jerkiness of the movement and then the speed of the movement. Um, and as I say then, the reverse, then if you find that as you move your mouse it goes the wrong way, then obviously just reverse that particular axis. But this very much is, is up to you to have a play around and just get a feeling just as you want it. So let's come back out of there. And that then is missile command setup. So we've got the mouse control using our um, for, for our aiming device and we can now play the game properly. So that really is all there is to setting up the basic mouse control. But let me just show you one more game uh, to pick up a few of the things, a few of the problems which you might come across as you try to set up a game. So I'm going to use this game called Tempest, which uses a dial control, which is a little sort of um, twiddly knob that moves um, the, in effect, your player left and right. So if I jump into that game, if I press my tab key to see what um, control settings there are for this one at the moment, and if I go to my inputs, we can see here that we have our fire buttons. But the problem we have is that our analog control is set to none. Um, so again, we want to use our mouse for this control. Um, so again, usual idea, if we press enter with that one selected, it will now start scanning and whatever we do on our computer, that will be what's used to control this particular input. So if I move my mouse to the left and right, you can see that that now has selected the mouse X axis to control my dial. Now, of course, we still haven't got this set up um, on our actual um, dev device control mapping yet. So we're going to come back now down to um, previous menu. And as I said, we're going to go and select a new machine. Because I've last time I was into the main menu, I had missile command. I now need to come up here and I need to search for Tempest. 
And there we have Tempest set up there. So if I come into Tempest, and if I go to my device mapping, you see that all of my device mappings are by default set up to keyboard. So this particular game, as we saw from the input mapping, we saw that it was using a dial device. So our dial device here, we need to set that up to be our mouse. Then we come back down to previous screen. And again, we must always save this machine configuration file. So if we do that, okay, so if I escape out of all of these, I'm back out of um, MAME. So I'm back into my launch box launcher here, or just restart your game from, from MAME itself. Restart my game. And I want to get back into it. If I put in some coins and then play the game, you can see now that as I move my mouse, it's now controlling the actual game controls. So I can now use that. And again, I now have access to my Tempest using my mouse as my dial control. So that's pretty much all there is to setting up your mouse as a control in MAME. There are loads of great games which make use of these more specialist input devices such as dial controls as we've seen um, already. Um, this particular game on screen at the moment, Arkanoid, it uses a dial to control the bat. You'll find that there are a lot of shooting games where there used to be an actual light gun set up to, to be, act as the input for firing. And again, you can mimic that then with the mouse, such as this game Operation Wolf, which is on screen at the moment, um, or indeed other games. And uh, this, this one here is called Time Crisis. And again, similar sort of idea where it's a mixture of button presses and then using the mouse to uh, mimic the light gun effect. Uh, and there are also sort of other games which used the uh, a dial or spinner input, um, some driving games and so on. And again, you'll, you'll come across those as you go through your MAME collection. So do please give it a go. Um, set up your mouse, have a go at some of these fantastic games. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get hold of all of my videos as soon as I produce them. I hope you have loads of fun playing these games and look forward to seeing you again very soon. So, bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.